right now, right here, right now. What is driving the higher price tag for collateral? So I think a couple things are driving the higher price tag of collateral. Obviously with the regulation going into play, volumes are a lot higher. Um, and so the operational complexity is there. And so, you know, people are spending a lot of time on, you know, the ops personnel as well as the systems in order to process the collateral. At the same time, you know, you, you see interest rates potentially rising, um, the vo collateral volumes are higher, and so there's potentially a drag on the fund's performance that also needs to be considered when looking at the cost of collateral. What are some strategies that would help operations staffs stay on top of this challenge? So I think first and foremost, each firm should define what their collateral strategy is, and part of that is defining what the success criteria is. So each institution and each fund may have different uh, profile in terms of, you know, what are their current operational capabilities, what, are, what assets do their funds have available to them, and therefore what are the unique challenges that they're looking to solve. Um, once they identify what the challenges are or what the issues are, they can then say where they want to go and then, you know, then implement that plan by potentially reaching, reaching out to different um, partners in the industries, then reaching out to the, you know, different external partners, um, you know, whether those are outsource providers or uh, vendor platforms. And there's also a number of industry utilities that, you know, operational firms, you know, firms can use to operationally simplify um, the processing of the collateral. What skills would help um, the operations staff within firms to best cope with this issue? So I think that, you know, historically collateral's very much been seen as an operational process. So you had just operational folks just processing margin calls day in, day out. Um, I think with the increasing impact on funds performance, it's not just an operational problem, it's a firm-wide problem and that touches different you know, functional areas, including the front office operations. Obviously, you have the regulatory components, so compliance is all, and legal are also going to be involved in that. So I think one of the most important things is for firms to pool together the collective resources and knowledge of different people within their institutions. Um, and so what you see is a lot of uh, organizations are forming cross-functional working groups around collateral that are, you know, working together to come up with that collateral strategy and then, you know, implementing systems and, and technology to handle. So they collectively come together and, and come up with you know, what that exact solution is. How will the cross-functional approach bring down the cost of collateral? So I think the cross-functional group, it doesn't directly bring down the cost of collateral, but if you're pooling different expertise within your organization, you're addressing you know, the, the larger scope of problems. You're not looking at just you know, how do I operationally process a margin call. You're thinking about how do I operationally process a margin call? What assets should I be posting? You know, maybe you were originally using cash because cash is really easy to post, but maybe you should be posting securities. And then if you want to post securities, you know, how does that fit into the, the profile of the fund? And, you know, how are you sourcing those assets in the front office? So you start to have more options in terms of how you address your collateral strategy from an operational perspective when you're thinking more holistically about the challenges that specific fund may have and how do you overcome those challenges.